80-year-old woman was left in the woods, a passing witch gave her a few sips of lactic acid bacteria, but it turned her back into a young woman, from a wrinkled old woman, into a youthful, vibrant young woman. The king was out hunting when he met her, so he made her his queen on the spot. But Jenny, who had risen to prominence, didn't forget her sister who lived in the slums. In the slums, he sent his guards to bring her a gorgeous dress. He invited her to his wedding. Even in her gorgeous dress, she still didn't fit in with the crowd in the palace. She searched the entire palace, but she could not find her sister. At that moment the beautiful queen took her aside. She said that she was the sister she had been looking for. Her sister's face was full of uncertainty. She reached out and stroked Jenny's smooth skin. Her heart was not only envious, but also jealous. She desperately wanted to know how her sister did it. Jenny laughed and said she didn't know either. She wakes up from the forest and looks younger. She whispered a promise that she would give her sister a life of luxury, but now there's a huge age gap between them. It would be easy for someone to know who she was. She also hoped that her sister would keep her secret, not to reveal her true identity to the public, so that she would always be loved by the king. But when the feast was over, but when the feast was over, her sister was like a child. She stayed in her chair and refused to leave, claiming to be the queen's sister, that she should live with her sister in the palace. And Jenny, who was afraid of what might happen, she took her back to her room. She tried to persuade her sister to go home, but the sister still wouldn't give up. She kept asking Jenny how she had gotten younger. In the face of her sister's persistence, Jenny, who was fed up, said, I had myself flayed, now that's enough. Jenny's offhand remark was taken seriously by her sister. When she came out of the palace, from the palace, she kept looking around for someone. She asked if she could have her skin removed. A barber she knew thought she was crazy. She was advised to go home and get some rest. But the sister refused to give up and searched all the way. Finally, tempted by money, the butcher agreed. He took her to the middle of nowhere, fearing she would resist. He tied her to a tree. At this point the sister's eyes are filled with anticipation. She wished she could be as young as her sister, so that they could be together forever. The butcher was afraid that the knife would not be fast enough so he sharpened it on his belt, and with a terrible scream, the sister's skin was ripped off. But to her dismay, the sister did not end up young. She walked on the road to the palace in a bloody mess, until she bled to death. And that's when Jenny, who was accompanying the king to the ceremony, found the skin on her hands beginning to crumple. Her whole body was aging at a rate that was visible to the eye, fearful of exposure. Jenny, Jenny had to run all the way out of the palace, back to her little cottage. Only there was no longer a sister waiting for her.